Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello there, folks. In this particular reaction video, this Coral Blade Grotto broadcast, I'm going to be looking at this page right here that you see on Facebook and also a video that's related to it. Now, I have run across the individual that's behind this before, you know, a couple years ago. This individual basically claims the same stuff that Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould claims. Now check it out. Just like Russell J Gould, you can see that there's a finale on the top of this flag on this page that says correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, which is adjective, 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 pronoun. There's no punctuation. Just looking at the page like this, there is no evidence of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge. None whatsoever. So this topper on the flag performs in the same way that these adjectives perform. Correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax. Those adjectives perform preceding this pronoun grammar. They're modifying grammar into a pronoun. Just like this topper is modifying this flag into something that it's not. It's certainly not a correct sentence structure flag because there can be no modification on a correct sentence structure flag. It's 1 by 1 1.9 Title IV flag with no fringes, no toppers, nothing. The hoist is 1 and the fly is 1.9. So the, <laughs> the logo is the UPU, which I guess would stand for Universal Postal Union, but Universal is no contract, and Union is no contract. So let's see if we can find any evidence of correct sentence structure. Oh, look at this. What's this? Of the flag... And of the seal, space, colon, space, wow. And then it gets cut off here. Quantum gobbledygook, even maybe even worse than quantum gobbledygook. No correct sentence structure at all. And none of these, any of these posts right here. Wow. Dangling participle colons. <laughs> Goodness gracious. 
Okay, this right here is the video I'm going to be looking at um, for the first sovereign postmaster general of the Lodio Erie is with the license grant. Folks, what is a license? A license is a paid permit to do something that would otherwise be illegal. So that's all part of the fiction system if you're going to use a word like license. Of the notice and of the warding dangling participle colon due to the fa oh my goodness none of these none of this is correct sentence structure oh that's the fellow's name right here Jason Paul Greaves that's the individual that claims to be commander in chief just like Russell and just like Russell this individual shows no evidence of correct sentence structure closure. Oh my goodness. What is this gobbledygook? Dangling participle colon. Abbreviation. Vowel in front of a consonant. No contract. A colon. A space, a colon, a space, and equals a space. Oh, my goodness. 80 pounds for this piece of bullshit document? Program list? PRO means no? Oh, this is... Folks, this is making me a headache. I got to get out of here. Let's get to the video. Okay, so what's the background? For the first sovereign postmaster general claim of the Lodial Eries with the license grant of the president, PRE means no, and chairman with the IRB, Irish Republican Brotherhood, Republican, RE means no. We can use the balance of the honor and the grace to let Irish, the I in front of the R go because it's, the na it's an ancient name of an ancient land. Which, it was called something else. I won't go into that. Um, anyways. Horrible, horrible. Babble here. Adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. And, of course, the comments are turned off. I wonder why. So let's get into it. Let's see what they have to say. The power you, please. Never enough power. <laughs> Welcome everybody anywhere to this absolutely very, very special day. Of course, I'm the most popular man in the room, so I'm at the head of the table. But the reason I'm here is because I couldn't, <coughs> we couldn't elect which one would be here. We have two very special people here. Mm -hmm. So I'm positioning myself as the Rubicon, and we're going to cross that today. So, in typical IRB fashion, um, all the work is done before the meeting, and we, we, we sit to close off on very important work. We have a couple of very important documents to sign and seal today. Billy and Matthew are going to sign and seal. The first order of business that I would wish us close off on, or move on, is the, the granting of a license for a postmaster general for ERA, Billy. I don't think in your 73 years as president you have granted a license for a postmaster general of ERA. So I can tell you quite a you're, you're sure of that? Because I wouldn't like to have two, because we have specifically said this is... Folks! The ignorance of this is mind-blowing. Now, I'm not trying to... Uh, it's definitely not my volition to um, disparage or insult any of these gentlemen or, or ladies at this table who I'm sure are totally um, into what they're doing and think that what they're doing is the correct thing. 
I'm looking at this through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. So the young fellow in the white shirt looking at a fiction babble document is addressing the older gentleman there to his port side, to his left. The individual who is going to grant the license, meaning the older gentleman has some sort of authority to grant some sort of license. Now, where does authority come from, folks? Where does it come from? Bare bones, closure on authority. Knowledge is what gives one authority. You have to know what it is you're doing. Okay? So if this is supposedly using correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, do you think that that fella has closure on correct sentence structure? Do you think the fellow that is grant, getting the license granted to them, the grantee, do you think they have closure on correct sentence structure? Because, folks, when you go back here, there is no evidence of correct sentence structure. Absolutely none. So this Jason Paul Grievous, I mean, I, I don't, I have seen that he perhaps has said some slanderous or disparaging things about myself. I don't take anything personally. I don't have anything against this fellow. This fellow seems to want to do good things for people. Seems to want to help people. He also wants to, you know, feed his family, obviously. So I feel that this individual is different than, say, your Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher type of person. However, I do question and I have to, you know, it's a red flag for me when someone comes out and declares themselves commander-in-chief. Like they want to be that a leader. They want to be commander of people and they want to basically control things. And that that's a red flag to me. That speaks a lot to me. Speaks volumes about someone's mental condition of state. The ego. The no-go condition of state. So with the balance of the honor and the grace, I put that aside. And I will say that if this Jason Paul Grievous wants to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, if they want to get closure on the grammar, if they think that they can cultivate enough humility to do such a thing, if that's their volition to be correct, they can contact me at the email address at the bottom of the screen, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com which is the correct venue with which to apply for grammar workshops. And they can apply for a workshop and I'll schedule a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. But I will bet you dollars to donuts, I will bet the house that this guy would never in a million years do that. It's one of one issue. So, Jason Paul Greaves, a very special man, a very pure and gifted man, is the proposed Postmaster General for the Sovereign Republic of Europe. Of course, it's not taken for granted. We asked him if he would accept the position, and he is honored to accept it. So that guy taking a sip of his coffee or tea or whatever it is, is granting Jason Paul Grievous Postmaster Generalship of Ireland. Now, in fiction, folks, you can do whatever you want to do. You can make up all kinds of make-believe stuff in fantasy la-la land that you want to, which is basically what this amounts to. And again, I am not trying to disparage the volition of these people. What I'm doing is giving an angle to what this scenario is using correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, lenses. Meaning, there is no correct grammar here. Now, as to whether they're successful in, in their endeavors, whatever they're trying to do, I hope they are. I hope they're successful, and I hope that uh, people's lives are enriched and better off for 
whatever fiction babble stuff they're doing here. But it's not correct grammar. It has nothing to do with correct grammar. We have prepared the license for Jason Paul Bees. The Supreme Council sat last night and we approved the license. And if I could ask Farah maybe to read the license as well, our first language, and then I will read it in English, and then we will put the seal on it, Billy, and you can sanction that if that's okay with you. So they're going to read their correct okay. grammar, their quantum gobbledygook? So that there be perpetuation for lawful governance of the Irish Republic in solidarity with IRB Executive Orders 22822 and 4291. It's written. It be in order to hereby sanction license number. In adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. Folks. And this individual, Jason Paul Grievous, heads up something called the Blue Thumb Club. And they charge people money. It's, it's basically the same thing that Mark Lowercase K does, actually. Masquerades plain, simple English as quantum grammar, which it's not. And so I've only gotten four and a half minutes into this 33-minute video. And uh, my conclusion is that whatever's going on here has nothing to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. This is definitely a pitfall and a landmine. So you folks out there, if you have anything to do with this, um, I caution you to be very, very careful if you're going to use this in a practical, everyday life situation under duress, having to do with Vasilis, foreign vessels and dry dock and stuff like that, because this is not correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar and i'm out if you would like to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i offer several choices the first one and the easiest one is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this youtube channel that you're watching right now the second option if you want to see new content is to click the join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching click the join button and you will see two tiers of membership if you choose the second tier the loyalist contributor tier and you join that for a monthly support donation you'll get new content fresh content exclusive content not available to the public every month but keep in mind there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study and the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. And you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions. And we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.